What up guys, welcome back to Pinoy Bounce. Let's go for more prediction games. What do you got? Who do you guys think is the rookie of the year? Oh, this is this is obvious? What if it's not obvious? So who do you got? I'm saying <laughs> Memphis's very own point oh, guard, John Morant. John Morant. Oh, so, he's nice, okay. Did you see him preseason? Yes. The way that he's carrying this team? You never know and we can never ever predict what the season will have for us, right? So like you can go, remember from Trey Young, like he was doing so bad into the first season and then he picked it up mid-season wise, right? Mm -hmm. Luka Doncic obviously was given for him as Rookie of the Year. He, he was from start to finish. Mm -hmm. Whereas we, don't, we can't predict Zion. We can't mm -hmm. predict, you know, Ja. We can't predict RJ. We can't predict Cam. You know, we can't predict Kobe White. We can't predict, you know, even Tyler Hero, right? Mm -hmm. But out of what we've seen so far from preseason up until now, I'd have to say John Morant. Mm, I, it's, it's just so much hype with Zion, and he's already shown that he can play. And the cool thing about it is that Alvin Gentry has put him in a position where they play off of his strength, where it's coming off a screen pin down, where he can just literally turn the corner and just literally body everybody. Do you see how he abused Rudy Gobert, Defensive Player of the Year? To be able to do that to a Defensive Player of the Year at 19 years old, the, his body, his athleticism, his quickness, it's just hard to see how they can stop him. I just kind of, I'm seeing a mini LeBron kind of performance for him for this rookie season. But do you think it's like, is it overhyped? Is it the right amount of hype for this guy? I thought he was overhyped until you start seeing how he plays. He's just a big boy, like a big man over, like everybody just looked skinny to him. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> everybody He's just like looks like they man, need huh? to eat some more chicken. <laughs> when <laughs> when he plays on them like i know james probably has maybe can help us where like what do you got james like john ja moran and, and zion do you, do you have some weird ones that you can kind of i don't know i this is kind of like a hard one yeah a hard um prediction because um john ja moran he reminds me of like players who can play um a guard like like lonzo ball or something like that but for players like him it takes a while to go through the all-star face. I see For that. Zion, yeah. you don't know with Zion. Is it's he the next Blake Griffin, yeah. Charles Barkley? Or is he a better version of Blake Griffin who can shoot? But uh, for me, I think Tyler Hero can make a case. But he's not the best rookie, but you will see him in top five. Sometimes it's not always the best rookie that wins it. Like Malcolm Brogdon was a good example. Like he was yeah. not the best rookie and that Joel Embiid was like, you know, but in terms of... Sometimes it's just a matter of opportunities, and I feel like drama. But well, with Joel and Embiid, he, he didn't, he didn't play, play the whole games. season. He only exactly. played 45 games, so yeah. that's the reason why he lost that. Rookie what other predictions do you have, James? What other things we should... Uh, who do you guys think the dark horse of the season? Oh. James, uh, James, I'm actually going to ask you that. Who do you think? And don't say Philly. He's going to uh, say Philly. Philly. <laughs> Philly because this is obvious. We're going to make the NBA Finals and win it all. So okay, just whatever. <laughs> But I think could be Denver Nuggets. Denver oh, Nuggets. I know it's my pick. Have the yeah, you guys I know that's all my yeah, Mark I have someone else Murray, though. Denver. I, I or do have Dallas another. Mavericks. That's the two. Picks Dallas two is yeah. nice. Yeah. I can see that. I mean, you have Luka Doncic, Chris Porzingis, Delon Wright, and everything. So that'd be a good trio. Mm -hmm. Can anyone like? What about Indiana Pacers? Victor Oladipo, you know. It they, depends on when Oladipo no, but it, comes back. I know back. Victor Oladipo, it was really rough for them and everything when we lost, when they lost him in, you know, during postseason. Mm -hmm. But now that he's coming back, they still manage to like kind of still stabilize themselves even though they didn't have Victor Oladipo. But like I'm thinking now you have Malcolm Brogdon, right? Daddy That's a is nice young addition. Is, yeah, Daddy is young is gone. So yeah. now it's going to be like all about, you know, Miles Turner and, you know, and Sabonis, right? Yeah. So... I feel like it's going to be, they're in the shadows, but I feel like there's something that's going to be cooking up. It's still a good young core, right? So mm -hmm. I feel like we can, get, we can get something out of them. I actually like, I don't know, it sounds weird that Bo I think Boston is a dark horse because they lost Kyrie. But I feel like... But they have Kemba Walker though, so... In terms of skills, skills like... Skills they, are, they lost Horford too. They lost Horford we have too. We have Horford. I just feel like the way they are now, it's just a bunch of talented wings where I think they're going to have more opportunities for... Uh, Jason Tatum to really be the player that he could be and J uh, Jalen Brown is there still and uh, J Gordon Hayward that talented wing depth that they have it's going to be nice and I, c I really want to see how they gel together because well, we're not I can't really predict much coming out of from Gordon Hayward like yeah. from what that's we the whole, that's what season. makes him a dark horse you don't guess, know what you're yeah. going to predict out of your out of your wings 
right? but you guys gotta watch out for Denver Nuggets because they're they deep. have the oh, yeah. same team. They're deep. Yeah. And then Michael Porter Jr. He was supposed to be the first overall pick until got, he got that injury, mm -hmm. and they have this guy named Ball Ball. So. <laughs> you oh my gosh. Bobo is going to be the key. But they're so deep. Like, I think uh, people don't understand how much player they, they acquired. On top of Jamal Murray, Nikola Jokic, Gary Harris. Harris. And they have such... Well, Barton's still there. Yeah. Um, Plus, Jer of, like, Jer Jeremy Grant, too. Jeremy so, yeah. Grant, they just added. Paul Millsap is still there, even though he's old. and, and I mean, he's a vet that prime. can still pass it on. Yeah, right, so. and they still have players like Monte Morris, who's just developed nicely for them. Malik Beasley, they have a very deep team. And they, they could be one of the Dark Horse team. Actually, you're right. I mean, yeah. but we can even see them from what happened before postseason, right? Mm -hmm. That we can expect the same thing for this season, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, that's some heated prediction. Before we get into your last topic, James, let's go to Hoops Mariasa. What do you got for us? Well, my MVP, I'm just kidding, but he, he basically can shoot, but this year, he can shoot threes now, guys. So watch out for this video. Predicted he was gonna shoot it in the preseason. No, I didn't predict he can be able to shoot at all. But you know, <laughs> good for your boy, James. I think uh, the on. biggest smile I could ever see in someone's face is. Uh, but did you see how hyped MVP up they now. were? <laughs> for no reason. This is expected for a player to shoot these kinds of threes. It's 2019-2020 NBA season. He should be making these kinds of shots, but he can't. Well, look at this. Well, Ma Magic Johnson. Didn't shoot threes until he was like. But that's a different late now. time. That's a different yeah. generation of ball. My, um, what's his name? LeBron James didn't shoot three. He would shoot three, but rarely. Most of the time, it's all mid-range shots. So for him, and you guys don't, and you guys don't realize that this is only his third year. So maybe Rondo did it. Rondo still can't shoot threes. So. There's just some special oh, you know, players you know. like Ben Simmons. By the way, Rondo does have a championship, so I don't know about Ben Simmons, though. So <laughs> you can win a championship. Trust the process, guys. Trust, trust the process. Guys. Yeah, yeah. Trust trust the process. process. <laughs> uh, to end it off, James, what is our last topic for this segment? Who do you guys think um, the NBA champion? Like, for 2020? I'm Ooh. saying Clippers right away, right off the bat. Ooh. Straight up Clippers. That's, uh, what about you, Mark? I'm... It depends on how they gel. Clippers is one of my favorite as well, but I gotta I gotta stick with the Warriors. I just think there's something they'll do this season. Warriors. That yeah, I know. I'm I just think like, yeah, yeah, okay. once Clay comes back, th there's just something about this feeling that I have that they're hungrier, and that they've been proving that they can't win it all with with Kevin. And I think they're a different team without Kevin. Remember, they won 72 games without Kevin Durant. I see them go so, maybe going deep, but th not. I think they're not. It depends finals. on if Lakers. Finds a way to gel. Yeah, this might be because they have no defenders at all except yeah. Clay, and Clay is hurt. And we're forgetting the Bucks, but I'm feeling Golden State. And if Golden State doesn't see through it, I think Milwaukee could really take that spot. Like, really good chance because Giannis grows and leaps like just, a frog. I just feel like there's too much hype going on in the West that like people are just so focused on who can be able to win that championship. So like, even for myself, right? Mm. You know, Bucks is kind of a given. We really want to see the Raptors, obviously, being the championship, you know, back to back. But you have to be realistic. We, we got to be realistic <laughs> with this one, though, right? Yeah. So, like, I have to say, statistically and by favor, I'd have to save the Clippers, right? But James, um, tell me one. I team. would say Sixers, but uh, <laughs> <To be laughs> my honest. other prediction is, yeah. it really depends if the Lakers play the Clippers. Yeah. So if you think the, I don't think no one can guard Anthony Davis against the Clippers because it has to be. Montres or Paul George and I think Anthony Davis if um, LeBron James step back it could be 
Anthony Davis here and be MVP. Who or knows? Can, Who knows? I don't know, but let's just say with these two players, you know, being so injury prone and everything, if the stars do align with them and everything, no injuries, everything's okay, whatever. I could probably do see that, but just the way, and we can't predict as well, right? So I just can't see the Clippers winning it or the, seeing that mesh or just seeing that, I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's all we got for time, guys. I hope you enjoyed that predictions. But stay tuned, because when we come back, all about the Raptors. <laughs>